So what is underlying? What, what are the underlying dynamics that are really driving all of this? I mean, you're looking at, you've been tracking this data. What's what's driving mm -hmm. this? Mm -hmm. So so the first thing I'd say is like, you know, just in, as a threat activity, you know, is, is something we call the, the, the democratization of, of DDoS. And there's just, you know, large number of services available, advertised on the dark web, even on the clear web, where... Uh, you can go and, you know, spend relatively small amounts of money to launch attacks against targets of your choice. And this is something that uh, is used, like, by, you know, a you know, remarkably large kind of, you know, number of people uh, in support of any number of activities. And so this is, that's, that's, that's really where it starts. It's just is really, really easy to do. Um, it, next up, like, you know, is, is, is also like, you know, just, just the kind of resources that they can leverage. So where once upon a time, you know, somebody might run a script and now like just bang out like a lot of traffic, send it to you. Now, more likely what happens is that people use networks of, you know, what we think of as botted nodes, so botnets, um, or, 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 or other vulnerable devices on the internet. So now you're not just from my computer sending traffic to your computer. I'm using a thousand other devices to all send traffic to you. And that, that may, that's, that's, you know, in, in large parts, like, you know, again, the distributed part of, of this uh, attack vector. So that has, that has changed. And then, and then, you know, just you come into the pandemic and realize that now everybody relies on online services for ordering their deliveries, right? And like, you know, shopping and certainly to get to work, to get to school, right? And, and, and this is, so it's just a large population that is now